What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Recently, Meta added a few brand new features on WhatsApp application and I did update you guys about most of them, but there was one feature which I'm yet to share is the screen sharing feature on WhatsApp, which got recently added. Now this is available both on Android as well as the iOS. Uh, I'm currently on a beta version of WhatsApp. Let me show you the change log here on Android. As you can see, it says you can now instantly record and send video messages in chats. To get started, tap on the microphone icon in chats to switch to video. Now this feature I have already shared with you guys and I did show you how to send a video message, an encrypted video message on WhatsApp. If you missed that video, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. And then it says screen sharing is now supported in video calls. Start a video call and tap on the new screen share button to get started. This is what we are going to take a look at now. Uh, it also says added message editing support for media with captions. So this was added a few uh, weeks ago. This is a very cool feature using which we can edit the sent messages. We don't really have to delete it and send it again. We can edit the existing sent messages, which will be corrected on the recipient's WhatsApp. And that's the third feature. And we have also got updated UI with material three menus and uh, switches. Now let me just open WhatsApp here. As you can see, again, we have got these navigation buttons at the bottom now, which was available on the top sometime back. Uh, recently, WhatsApp did make these changes from the top, they brought it back to the bottom and then again, they uh, took it back to the top. Now it's available at the bottom. We've got chat, status, communities and call, all four options are here. And to go to the uh, settings, you can tap on this three dot button. Now let me show you on uh, the iOS, we have also received the similar update. It says you can now send higher resolution images in chat. So this was something which I have already shared with you guys. Again, that was in one of my previous videos. If you missed that, you can go ahead and check out the channel. It says screen sharing is now supported in video calls. So this is available now on the iOS as well. Now I have got the S23 Ultra here and I've got the iPhone 14 Pro Max here. Let me quickly make a video call and show you guys how the screen sharing feature works. Now let me go to calls. I have already made a call to this number. I'll tap on video call. Now, as you can see, the video call is on. Now at the bottom, we have got this all new option for screen sharing. You can see even on the iOS, we have got this option right here. The icons look different here. Uh, when I tap on the screen sharing button, the moment I tap on the screen sharing button, it says start recording or casting with WhatsApp. WhatsApp will have access to all of the information that is visible on your screen or played from your device while recording or casting. This includes information such as passwords, payment details, photo messages, and audio that you play. Now, this is something which is a standard message which we get when we uh, share the screen on Android phones. Now, if you look at the notification from WhatsApp, it says screen sharing on WhatsApp is always private. To share your screen, WhatsApp needs to cast it from your device. Screen sharing is protected with end-to-end -end encryption and is never recorded by WhatsApp. So WhatsApp says it is not going to record anything, but Google says uh, the uh, application will have access to all the data that you have on the screen. Now that is something which you need to be wary of. Uh, WhatsApp clearly says it is not going to uh, you know, use any of the data which is displayed on your screen. No one outside of this call, not even WhatsApp, can see or hear what you share on your screen. Now this is what the WhatsApp says. Now uh, let's go back to the screen sharing here. Now you can see I have tapped on the screen sharing. I'll tap on start. Now the screen is being shared. You can see now the same screen is visible on this phone as well. Whatever I do on the screen will be visible right here. You can see you can share the screen, you can share the contents whenever you make a video call to explain something to the recipient or to share uh, some data or information which is available on your phone to the receiver. Now this is how the screen sharing feature works on WhatsApp. Now you can just go back to the uh, menu. You can tap on the same icon to stop screen sharing. As simple as that. This is the brand new feature which Meta has added on WhatsApp. This was added a few days ago, like I said, I totally forgot to uh, share this particular information with you guys. Now, if you use video calls more often, and if you want to share the screen, you can do that on WhatsApp now. That's all I want to share with you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community to know your phone better and give this video a like if you find this useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers, bye-bye.